when uh, coronavirus first emerged, we had uh, teams performing uh, analytics around different questions related to neuroscience that we redirected towards uh, coronavirus related areas. And specifically, we had teams uh, looking into um, analytics using various social media platforms and internet platforms. I'm Dr. Mohammed Biden. I'm a neurosurgeon at Mayo Clinic in uh, Rochester, Minnesota. I'm, I'm a professor of neurosurgery, orthopedic surgery, and health services research. I um, am principal investigator of the Mayo Clinic Neuroinformatics Laboratory. Our laboratory is highly focused on analytics for neuroscience disease. Our topic today is uh, using uh, internet search terms to uh, predict coronavirus uh, activity and coronavirus hotspots within the uh, United States. And so one of the uh, concepts that we came up with was to look for uh, Google search trends and to see if those can be uh, predictors and correlated with um, hotspots in coronavirus cases. To do this study, we looked at location-specific uh, search uh, areas, um, uh, meaning um, we looked at all the searches within a specific geographic area. So our team uh, looked at Google search trends and specifically uh, 10 different terms. Uh, and those terms included uh, COVID uh, symptoms, uh, coronavirus symptoms, uh, people looking for sore, sore throat, shortness of breath, fatigue, cough, uh, people looking for uh, coronavirus testing centers, people looking for uh, loss of smell, people looking for Lysol, uh, antibodies, uh, face masks, coronavirus vaccine, and uh, COVID uh, stimulus check. And those uh, formed uh, 10 search terms that we utilized uh, in order to see what the Google Trends nationally in various areas were relating to uh, those various search terms. What we found was those terms are very uh, strongly correlated with the emergence of coronavirus hotspots uh, in the uh, United States. And uh, what's interesting is uh, we uh, separately have teams uh, in the hospital that uh, were searching, for example, uh, medical notes of uh, patients when they first see their family doctor with some uh, COVID-related uh, symptoms. What we found though with this research and with this data is that people go to Google before they go to their doctor. And so uh, many people were searching uh, symptoms related to coronavirus. And so we could predict days ahead of time um, uh, when a, a hotspot would emerge with uh, a good uh, correlation uh, versus uh, other uh, uh, methods and methodologies. Uh, the point of the uh, manuscript was uh, to demonstrate that uh, Google search trends and search engine trends online can be uh, strong predictors in a, a global uh, pandemic. We found a, a strong correlation between our search terms and uh, the emergence of a uh, coronavirus um, uh, hotspot that we could potentially predict those hotspots up to 16 days ahead of the uh, first reported cases in some of those areas. Meaning potentially uh, using uh, internet search engines, we would find out more than two weeks uh, ahead of a hotspot emerging and be able to warn those communities as well as public health officials in those communities. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.